Hello everyone. I'm Dale Ross, the airbrush guy. S-H-E-N-N-I-Y-A. Big 21. All <laughs> yeah, I've had this Bob Ross costume sitting here for a long time. I got videos planned to do with it. It's just been sitting collecting dust, so I figured I might as well bust it out. Had to see if the pants fit, you know? I was gonna do a video um, of me painting one of Bob's paintings. You know, like people do those YouTube videos all the time where they're copying one of his paintings, they're following his tutorial or whatever. I'm gonna do one of those, but following it with airbrush art, of course, with my airbrushes. So consider this your, your sneak peek. Thank you, Sarasaurus and Alex. How many airbrushes do I have? I usually have like 26 or something, uh, however many this is. Um, yeah. I try to keep them all ready. It's a lot easier to switch colors real fast when you got them all out there, but you don't need this many to start out with. Um, I painted for a long time with just three airbrushes, and that was just fine. I kept one on white, one on black, and then one that switched between color to color. And it's not that hard. If you can get like six though, then you'll be really set because then you can have one for each color family. 
you know, when you switch colors from one to the next, there's a little bit of paint that gets stuck in there that you really gotta spend time spraying out if you wanna get it super clean or it just kinda blends in with the next color. So if you can keep your reds and oranges and yellows together and then like your blues and purples together kinda when you're switching and switch with that in mind, then you'll have a lot less wasted paint, a lot less time cleaning out stuff. All right. Think about your designs that way. What's like, what's the best order that I should switch from here? There's some colors that just are really a pain in the butt, like switching from green to pink or something. You're always gonna have like this muddy color between. So you had to stop and spray water and whatnot through it between. The other colors you can get away with. You can like go straight from yellow to red without caring at all. Karen, not <laughs> Karen. That's kind of when I learned all the different characteristics each color has because they all act a little bit different. All the airbrush paints, every color has like its own tendencies. Some are thicker, some are thinner, some cover what's below it better than others. And of course, you know, they blend together differently. You start to learn like what you can get away with, what colors you could blend on top of each other that even if those colors didn't look good together in reality, you would be able to blend them together with airbrush paint because it would cover the previous color instead of blend with it. It's all stuff you pick up on over time, I guess. Here's a new playlist. I hope it doesn't get too crazy. I think it'll be fine. It's all lo-fi. It's not going to be ridiculous. Does the paint change the texture of the shirt? Slightly? A little bit? Um, once I heat press it, it becomes nice and soft again it's not like a crunchy feel it can if you don't know what you're doing and you spray a whole lot of paint onto a shirt then it will kind of feel weird but it shouldn't it shouldn't be too bad oh I almost stabbed myself in the toe what do you say about details Seems like a long way to go to know those details. Yeah, um, I've been painting for over a decade now. As a full-time job, you start to pick up on all the little intricacies. There's still a lot more to learn, especially what I'm kind of working towards now is painting on hard surfaces using gravity-fed brushes instead of siphon-fed brushes, which comes with a whole different world of paints and reducing and uh, rules, just clear coating itself has a whole bunch of stuff to learn that I don't know. I don't have any experience with that. Um, I know how paint works and clear coat works and I know I can pick it up, but there's going to be some stuff to figure out when it comes to like professionally painting helmets and things. But it's one of those things I'm working on now, getting all that done and learnt. All right, Shania, you're coming with me. <laughs> Hoping to get in the airbrush. Good luck, man, you can do it. What size is this? Small. This is a, this is a, this is an order. There's a lot of very unique sayings on these shirts that we're just gonna roll with. Call me caramel honey with the drip. Call me caramel honey with the drip. Microphone.
And there's a microphone at the bottom. So I got the wrong channel. No, this is me, man. It's Bob the Airbrush guy. Sanding, 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 sanding. That's the hard surface thing. See, I don't mind the sanding so much. Which is new because I used to hate sanding. It's the um, the clear coat. There's so much. I don't know. You guys know how I paint. I lay down a whole lot of color. I do graffiti letters and giant fills and I do all that. You can't do any of that with a on a hard surface. You have to go so slowly. I know what I'm doing. Hey, check this out. I'll be right back. I gotta show you guys. It's a sneak peek. Just to prove to you that I know how to paint hard surfaces. I have been working on, I can't move the camera, a special project for funsies. That's all you get to see of it, except for the fact that it glows too. I'm making a video on it and you're gonna watch it. But that has been my big old practice project for really nailing down the details on hard surfaces and whatnot. I've spent a good amount of time on that. And I am confident that I can deliver some professional quality work on that, on that kind of stuff. It's the masking tape and stuff too. Like I get, my attention span is not there for masking and masking and masking and everything I do is freehand because I just can't stand that, I don't know. I have a, a very low attention span, you know? There's a three and a half millimeter two foot cord on my microphone. Should be an aux or an XLR cable, but you know. People don't know what XLR cables are, so you, you paint what you, what you know. You guys see they were playing football at the Eminem and Snoop Dogg concert? I still haven't seen that show. <laughs> Y'all making fun of me. What am I looking for? Gold honey caramel colors. Aren't those all the same color? Caramel's got some orangey tones to it. I wonder if this light's too much. I'm gonna deal with it. shadow at the bottom. This is not focused. Now it's, there we go, look at that. We can see. 
I got a new uh, new software. I was using my GoPro to stream from, but I will say this publicly. I don't like GoPro. Their customer service, their software sucks. Um, so I stopped using GoPro to record everything. So I'm now using two phones, but it's new software and like, it took me like an hour and a half to get this stream set up because I couldn't get things working. I felt dumb. But it is done now. Women's small t-shirt. Love a girl. Still a thug. No, that's not the right side. There it is. Caramel honey drip. Gold and black. Make it look sticky. Okay. Let's make it look sticky. Question for Bob Dale Ross. Ain't it hot under that afro? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's kind of chilly in my house, so it's kind of nice. Am I interested in working with clothing brands? Sure. I like working with clothing brands. I'm going to put this on multiple lines because they want it all one line. Caramel honey drip. Caramel honey drip. Make sure I have room. Um, we're gonna do a simple E. There it is. There it is. I'm gonna stretch honey out to be real long. This one's gonna be fun. I'm gonna spend, spend a minute on this one for details. I don't like this H. It's in my way. Gotta make it look sticky. We're gonna have some honey dripping. I need to pull up some an episode of Winnie the Pooh for some inspiration here. I'm a before I do the black outlines, I'm gonna refine some stuff with the orange. Hello Miranda. Francisco Miranda. Can you not do that, please? Thanks. Appreciate it. I don't need this. Get out of here. gaps as I can on the bottom of letters so that I can blend them like drip them into the, the other letters this is gonna be complicated Sure, I'm still legible here. I 
How much are the shirts? The shirts start at $25, $20-ish. Oh, there's some cheap ones on the website. There's a coupon code in the description right now. You get 10% off by using the coupon code Dale is cool. on the website at airbrushcustoms.net. Um, you can always use that coupon code as long as you agree that Dale is cool. Otherwise, you're not allowed to use it. Now we'll pursue legal action. And by that, I mean I won't do anything about it. There's too much text for me to like want to spend a whole lot of detail in it because if I put a little detail into one spot, I got to put that same detail everywhere. If it just said like honey or something, we'd go to town here and have a lot of fun. But... That would be impractical. That's a little pro tip for you if you're ordering something, either for me or like other artists in general. Like. If you got a text-based design coming your way, try to keep the text minimal. More text just means that it at least has to be smaller, and like the artist is not going to have as much time to dedicate to the text if they've got to do a whole lot more text to it. So maybe you know, pick a word or two or a shorter phrase, not a paragraph. No, wait, I got some some leftovers. I got more paint on the way. But I'm using my tiny bottles. I'm out of everything. Don't make a mess. I made a mess. Let me get a paper towel real quick. Doop, -ba -doop, doop. Never saw Bob do that. Well. There, it's clean. It's just a, <laughs> what, what did he say? Just a happy little accident or something? What did say? I don't know how happy that accident was. But... Now I gotta be careful touching shirts so I don't make a big mess everywhere. Back nab it. <clears throat> Gonna be okay. Back to work. Like I said, I got more paint on the way to replace the floor paint. This paint is nice. This is. It's not. It's not. Createx, it's um, TNT, it's ETAC paint. ETAC is another brand of airbrush paint. It's got a nice aroma to it. Kind of like Aquaflow. I'm being serious, like it, has, it actually smells good. You know the scratch and stiff uh, markers I used to have as a kid? 
they kind of like scented their paints in a way. The white smells like vanilla. I don't know if it's on purpose that it smells like flavors, but it does. You can walk in the room and I can tell you what color paint you're using by smelling it. I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be shadowing my text with orange because orange is not a darker color. It's just a different color than yellow. I should be using a brownish type of color. That's okay. I'm gonna blend it in with more yellow at the end to bring it back to the right hue. Just quick, quick shirts, quick shirts. Thank you, Janaea. Thank you, uh, Dennis. I appreciate it, man. Check this out. This is a new stencil I got from Spray Gunner that has been used many times since I've gotten it. Actually, it doesn't look like that many, but I use it all over that chameleon skateboard. I'm gonna start using it for texture all over the place, just like kind of showed on the opposite inside. Can't see with yellow, whatever. Ignore that, you can't see it. It's kind of like the splatter stencil, but it's just not the splatter stencil. Do a doke. Watching some older streams and people were asking me to do a doke. No, I still don't know what that means. I have no idea. I know that doke is a graffiti artist, Russian graffiti artist, I believe. He's Russian. Um, way more popular than I am. And I don't think we're associated in any way other than I was a member of his YouTube channel for a while and he reviewed my artwork once, so that was way after this conversation happened. I don't know what he meant. I got so much old live videos on YouTube that I'm saying stuff that just isn't relevant anymore as far as like I'm opening up the airbrush supply shop and, and all of that that I was doing, just not doing it anymore. I'm like always going back and telling people that that's not the case, I'm not ordering, I don't have airbrushes in stock, sorry. And I wish I could, I wish I could open up a shop. Maybe I will one day, but I don't have time right now to, to focus on that and with the way shipments are all over the world right now. There's no way I'm getting involved in stocking an inventory of expensive airbrushes and... No. It's a lot of work. I've tried a lot of ways to make it easy for people to buy the airbrush equipment and like have a list together of what you need and what I recommend and what I don't recommend and all of that. I'm gonna keep on trying, but I have not found a solution because every supplier that I point to runs out of stock and doesn't care about their customers or, you know. Having a hard time finding a company that I can endorse and have like a partnership with. I'll tell you, I use the Badger Omni 3000s and they're great, so go find a place that'll sell them, but that's all I got for you. You like my hair? Thank you. It's, uh, it's fluffy. This is done. <laughs> we have another women's small. Woman's small? Is it women's or woman's? Woman's sounds like woman's. Women's? Never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. Size mini, but I'm certified. With purple diamonds.
<laughs> make sure our spell is right. Thank you guys. I love these comments. Black, gold, purple diamonds. Purple, black, gold. Purple shadow. Circle design. I'm pulling back this chuck nut instead of the trigger because I haven't been having trouble with this airbrush. It's a little thick, the paint's a little thick. So pulling this back allows me to just spray more paint than the trigger would. It just helps kind of blast paint out of there. A little bit faster. You must have been tagged. Oh my God. What? I did not tag. I surprisingly have never done like legitimate graffiti. I say surprisingly not because like, man, you're so good, you should do it. But because I've always wanted to do it. I've always written on my own stuff. I've always written. I've always, I've always wrote it on my own stuff. I just never took the time to go out and find a spot to do it. I would never do graffiti on like a public surface, like right in front of everybody, right in the way. But I would go find a nice secluded spot, a abandoned building or something. I got no problem going to town in a place like that. You know, hypothetically speaking, if I wasn't, you know, you know what I mean? Maybe one day. Some white highlights. Thanks for attention. Hugs from Brazil. How can you get a custom t-shirt made by me? There is a link in the description right now where you can go to my website and place an order. Um, there's also a coupon code there that will give you 10% off your order. And I didn't mention this before. If you use that coupon code, I'll, I'll be the one that paints your order. I've got more than one artist that, that paints. Um, but if you use my coupon code, then I'll know that like, you want me to paint it. Okay. Coupon code is Dale is cool. It's down there in the description too, you'll see it. I'm working on a new website. I've always been the one that, that codes the website. I build the product pages, I code them by hand from scratch. But it takes so much time and I'm honestly not that great at it. So I'm looking for someone else to, to use their actual expertise on building me a new Shopify store. Right now I'm looking around Fiverr for people, 
and I've started a few conversations, but I haven't found anybody yet that I'm super confident in. I'm super stoked in. So, if you're a fiber expert, maybe you want to build a website. I mean, a Shopify expert, rather. Fresh Tifa. No colors chosen, okay. Fresh Tifa. These are some strange names. I told you at the beginning that these were gonna be interesting. I'm gonna split this up into two lords too. T-I-F-F-A. I don't want to do that. I've seen so many people do like the hearts at the bottom of letters. It's not my style. doing a how to get started series yes I'm working on that right now um, I'm gonna do a like a legitimate how to airbrush series I'm gonna teach you what equipment you need how to use it all where to get it all economical alternatives to the professional stuff you what you can do with airbrushing including like my styles and other people's styles and of course like practical practice drills from basic very beginner stuff all the way up till like the stuff that I do to practice not that I like intentionally sit down and do practice sheets or something but I still practice I'm still learning I'm gonna do my best to like formally educate. I know I answer a lot of questions and stuff in live streams, but unless you wanna watch every live stream ever and like pick up little pieces of knowledge here and there, it'd be really hard to learn from what I have out there. So I need to get down to business and put together an actual specific how to airbrush videos. And I'm already in the process of it. Just know that it's very difficult for me to do that. I don't know why it's so difficult, but I'm trying my best.
the practice any calligraphic art. Calligraphic. Calligraphic. Sounds cool. Um, besides just like the lettering and stuff that I do all the time, not like specifically. I've practiced, I mean, that's something I've practiced since the beginning is my calligraphy stuff, my script lettering and whatnot. Um, yeah, in the last, a lot of the practice that I've done over the years has been sketching out sheets of lettering over and over again. I'm just picking what letters I don't like and redoing them until I find a way to do them that I do like. And, A lot of work. There's so many different ways that letters can work together that you have to play with. Not even just graffiti letters like this, just, just standard cursive lettering takes, you know, there's relationships between letters that you gotta learn and figure out how you do it and whatnot. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Playing with a little new fill technique here. Some happy little gradients. Somebody's asking about reducer. I've been using this reducer concentrate. Where'd it go? Wait, that's airbrush cleaner. It looks like this bottle. It's from Trident, but it says reducer concentrate. And you put one part this and 10 parts water to it. I've been filling up these old ketchup bottles or whatever. And uh, that's been nice because I go through reducer really fast. Trident paints are what I was using on that skateboard. I've used a lot of different airbrush paints in my day, but I can definitively say at this point that Trident paint has been my favorite paint to use in my gravity fed airbrushes, 100%. Um, it's flowed the smoothest, it's been the least finicky. I'm not an expert on, on the gravity fed airbrushes still, or, you know, detail painting, but check out Trident. They just recently got a US supplier, I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure what side it was, I forgot. But I will get you some links. Another thing that I'm doing right now is trying to get a bunch of links together for like where I get my equipment and stuff. Like I was saying earlier, like it's really hard to find consistent places to find everything. I don't have one shop I go to to get all of my stuff. But honestly, Amazon's not bad for some things.
feel like I'm paying really slow. Sorry, guys. I'm not worried about the hair, but tucking my shirt in, man, that's a... I could do without that. I don't tuck shirts in. I haven't reached that level of dad yet. I don't know, though. I'm going to be 30 next week, so... Who knows what's gonna happen to me then? I don't know. My knees are already starting to to hurt. I'm gonna start grunting and making lots of dad noises. It's coming, I can tell. I strapped down some firewood onto the car the other day and I could not help but say, that's not going anywhere. It's inevitable. Noah hit me with a dad joke yesterday. I told him I was hungry. No, I told him I was tired. I said, I'm sleepy. He said, hi, sleepy, I'm Noah. I don't know if I was in that moment proud or scared. I still don't know how I feel about it. Because I never used that joke with him. I've never said that. I've never pulled a, hi, no, hi, hungry, I'm dead. He did it. He made it up. Or he saw it somewhere, I don't know, but... I don't need him bringing that into my household. I'm doing my best to resist. I don't like this coloring. So I sent him to his room. I gotta play with how I'm gonna to fill this, do this next time. That's a, I want, usually I do a gradient, a really smooth gradient from top to bottom, but I wanna start having more contrast, more harsh lines inside the fill. I think the, the colors are too stark. But, I don't know, I'm gonna play with some different colors in the future. What do we have next? I've seen Walmart airbrush supplies. See, that's that's the thing. An airbrush is they're not all the same, you know. There's a big difference between a Walmart airbrush and a good airbrush. At the same time, you can use one of the cheap ones to practice and you probably wouldn't know a difference until you got better, but I don't know. I guess start with whatever you gotta do to start with. Get something cheap to see if you like it, but you're eventually gonna wanna upgrade to something more quality. Lover girl, still a thug. Yeah. Lover girl, still a thug. I don't like my G's. My G's are a letter I need to. To rethink.
I like my lowercase g's, they're fine. My capital G's. Real G's move in silence like lasagna. What if my ETAC color is giving me problems? You have to clean the clogged up tip all the time. What color is it? Is it, um, Walmart sells our water? I believe it. Then in that case, yeah. Easy air on a house, what's up, easy air? Yeah, Iwata's a great brand. Um, if a Walmart is selling Iwata, then go for it. Master Airbrush is not a great brand. You shouldn't buy Master Airbrushes. Um, sounds, I need to stop saying stuff so definitively like that. You guys are gonna quote me and be like, Dale doesn't like this company. But truth is I've had several Master Airbrushes and I'm not happy with them. So I'm gonna tell you that unbiasedly. I don't like Master Airbrush. It's the most common brand people buy. It's what's on Amazon. Is their super cheap airbrush kit, so people start with them, and then they go, "Man, this is, isn't working the way that I want it to work." I keep on having problems with it, so they stop airbrushing. And really, you just had a bad piece of equipment. Airbrushing is already complicated enough to learn. There's so many problems and things you have to troubleshoot that aren't completely obvious from the very beginning. Now, if you start with an airbrush that's going to give you a bunch of troubles and whatnot, then you're going to have a you're going to have a bad time. Yeah. Skiing. How about peak? I've never heard about a peak airbrushing. I haven't tried every brand. Like I'm not a, a definitive say on who's the best and who's the worst. I know that I like Badger the best. I want as a close second. Um, Pache is a good brand. I, I started airbrushing with Pache airbrushes. The old ones. And I'm sure there's other alternatives and other people have different opinions and you can, you know, use what you like. Everybody's got their, their preferences and that's fine. The thing is, if you're going to buy an airbrush kit from the beginning, you're going to get a compressor, you're going to get an airbrush, you're going to get all the paints and the bottles that you need and hoses and you're going to get all set up, you're going to spend like 200 bucks at least. And it's better to spend 240 bucks and get one of these instead of 200 bucks and get a master airbrush that you're gonna be unhappy with. That's my, that's what I'll say. These are like 70, 80 bucks depending on time of year and everything else and whatever. The master is like 30. Just spend a little bit extra and get something real good. The Omni 3000 is my favorite. The Vega 2000 is great. The Iwata Eclipse is good. The Neo is okay. It's not as good. It's not meant to be as good. You can go with a SprayGunner.com as an airbrush supply store. They have an airbrush called the No Name Airbrush, which I still don't like the name of. It's called the No Name Airbrush. Um, but that's a good airbrush, very similar to these. I don't I have one, I don't use it because all of these are the same. I use the same tips and needles and it's all super consistent. Everything's great. Um, using one different airbrush just kind of throws everything else off, but it's a great brush. Gusher Drip 2000, pink, purple, gold, black. All right, the 2000 is big. How 
¿Cómo que no? Sí. Yeah, good start again. Thank you guys, thank you. Bear air. I haven't seen bear air in a while. Tuna helper tonight for dinner. <laughs> Yesterday I had mashed potatoes for dinner, which is an upgrade from a raw carrot. Where do you buy Omni 3000s or Vega 2000s? I bought most of my airbrush stuff over the years from... Crap. What's it called? Is it Chicago? I'm gonna Google it. Chicago airbrush. That's not... This isn't it. I don't remember. But yeah, Chicago Airbrush is a good one. Uh, Midwest Airbrush is a good one. US, okay, if it's Badger specific, go to, um, what's it called? USAirbrushSupply.com And USA, Air, there's so many different places. Just Google it, man. Google it. Plenty of solutions out there. Yeah, we use the internet. Fine. What's up, Jesse? They wanted gold. I should have put gold in the middle. Did it this way so I could put some bright highlights in it. Thank you. 
USA Airbus supply. Yeah, that's where I'll go. With two piece. They're Badger's um, official supplier. So that'd be my first my first choice. I'm trying to think of the name. Gusher Drip 2000. Hey Todd. I didn't ever see you. What's up, Todd? Little bit of texture there. Let's put some down here. Next, we got a tank top today. Where are we at? Women's small, oh, we got a beach design. This is gonna be a fun one. I did a video yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. A little tutorial on how to paint a beach scene. This one's a different style of beach scene. I like this one better. Beats there, let it fly, man. Okay. A little bit of green. All right. Gotta get some purple. fighting with this purple all day. Don't argue with me, Paint. Don't you know who I am? I'm Bob Ross. There's more respect out of my 
airbrushes. Ouch. <laughs> Don't beat the devil out of it. <laughs> that was part of the video that I wanted to I'll give it away, but beating the devil out of it is gonna be part of the Bob Ross thing. Making a big mess. I'm gonna start painting some galaxies again. I used to paint a lot of galaxies. Space stuff. Bob Lightyear. It's not the video, the pink does blend. Pink and yellow blend together really nicely, which is why I use it so much. I rarely ever actually use orange paint. I'm usually painting with yellow and then fade it up with orange or pink. You know what I meant to say. All right, palm tree. I guess. Let's make it a little island. I need to memorize some more of like Bob Ross's little sayings, his little snippets. I know there's something I could be saying about a tree right now, I just don't know what it is.
text. I'm going to be done with this one. Why can't you sell beach scenes in Cali? Prosperity with a kiss. Ouch. I'll do it. Happy little trees. That was a nice one. I like that one. You would need an adapter for the Omni 3000. They use a 0.5 millimeter um, connection, but they do have adapters available. spray can design. Everyone's got their own, uh, every, every area has like its style. You got to figure out what people around you want. I've never had a lot of experience selling to people locally. I've always been online. Davy River Rat. All of these words are so long and they want them all in one line. Okay. Let's see if I can cram this in one line. It's a happy seagull. Oh, I should have painted a happy seagull. Come on, camera. I'm running out of paint. I should fill the bottle up. That's why you're seeing these little gaps. But you saw what happened last time I filled up a bottle of paint. It's not good.
There's a new technique I'm learning how to do. I'm moving the stencil around while I'm moving the airbrush around and it creates like, I don't want to do it with black. Kind of like a wavy texture pattern. It's going to be hard to see, but it adds like a texture you wouldn't be able to get with just an airbrush or just a stencil by itself, like interacts. Funny, kind of neat. Thank you, man. All right, I'm gonna put some highlights in it and then I'm gonna be done here, guys. Uh, I hope you like the Bob Ross outfit. <laughs> like I said, it's just been sitting there and I'm thinking, man, I might as well debut the future here. Um, but I had fun today. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for spending some time with me today, making this these commissions go by smoother. It's nice when I have someone to talk to while I'm working. I hope you learned something. I learned a couple things. Um, I hope I inspired you to maybe start airbrushing soon. And if you need help getting started, send me a message. Like I said, I'm gonna make those tutorials and whatnot uh, to give you like a legitimate starting point to help you get started. Starting is the hardest part of any project. Just start. Um, I'm gonna try and make that as easy as I can for you. But in the meantime, before those exist, just Google it, look it up. There's plenty of people on YouTube here that have great tutorials. Airbrush Asylum is a good place to start right now. You can go watch their videos on how to paint. No, no need to wait for me to make them. Um, but thank you guys. Thanks for hanging out today. Feel free to, to, to join slash subscribe or like or what you know the, the things that help. They do help. Or buy a t-shirt from my website. You know? But uh, Thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you. I love you. Thank you for everything that you do for me. Um, bye.